the Polymet. If you've liked those tech based characters more than you'll probably like Boogie. He's a cool character. If you're with the Ripperverse stuff, then definitely pick this one up. Really um, exciting to see, and it's definitely a really good story to read. Uh, it's even you know, if it's your, your first one, the story it tells makes sense. You don't need to read any of the other books um, to get um, the gist of what's going on with this book. It, it's a pretty like quick, I'd say bird's eye view of or, um, Kato's um, origin story. Mike Barron did a great job at making this book a real page turner, and that's really all you can ask for. Writer Mike Barron, a veteran of the comic book industry, and with art by Will Conrad. The art is exceptional. It's good. Mike Barron really brings his writing prowess to bear in this comic. The world building of the Ripaverse gets expanded upon. This becomes both a very quick read, easily digestible. This was solid entry by Mike Barron. This guy's got a good handle on everything, but he just lives separately from everybody. He's got this huge technical enterprise at his fingertips, so what's his deal? Well, now uh, a year later, we finally get a look into his origin story. Fantastic artwork, fun story, cool characters, great stuff. Always looking forward to more from the Ripperverse. <laughs> This story is different from the other Ripaverse books so far because it feels like a full origin story. I think the villain is the strongest character for this book, and I think there is a lot of potential for him. This villain right here, right here, I think he can be easily have a great potential to be the, the best villain of the Ripaverse, at least as of yet. I like um, Kato Gooding's backstory. I think Mike Barron did a very good job of giving you as much as he possibly could while obviously holding some things back leading you up into what's coming and i think gooding is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the ripperverse <laughs>